My wife and I have a ritual every time before I go on the road. What we'll do is we'll get rid of our children and we'll spend the day together in bed. And uh, <laughs> watching movies. And we did this the last time. And the movie that we watched was this movie called Indecent Proposal. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie. But it's a movie where a guy gets offered a million dollars to let another man have sex with his wife. And we're laying there watching the movie. And my wife goes, would you do that? <laughs> I was like, hon, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on, it's a million dollars. <laughs> hey, for a million dollars, he'd have a hard time figuring out what I wouldn't let him do to you. <laughs> My mom and dad are married, been married 65 years. They're celebrating 65 years of marriage this year. <laughs> Don't applaud. They're not happy people. <laughs> they live to fight. <laughs> I actually heard my mom and dad fight one day, and my dad yelled at my mom. He goes, Deets, if I'd have killed you when I wanted to, I'd be out of prison by now. <laughs> you know what my dad actually told my mom? He told my mom, check this out. <laughs> I'm sorry I know the joke. <laughs> My dad told my mom that when he died, he wanted to be cremated and have his ashes spread all over the house so she still had to pick up after him. <laughs> Why do I do stand-up comedy? Because I have low self-esteem and all I want is my mother's attention. But unfortunately, she doesn't have cable, so I guess she'll never know. <laughs> Anybody ever catch your mom and dad doing it? You ever do that? That would have messed me up for life. Seriously, look at me. My parents are not pretty people, okay? See, that's the whole dichotomy of life. You know, if a guy talks dirty to a woman, oh, it's sexual harassment. But you know what, if a woman talks dirty to a man, you know that's like $9.95 a minute? <laughs> See? You know, that's so cool about women. Women, you can explain anything to children and they'll get it. Check this out. I don't know what my daughter been watching on TV one day, but she just walks up and she goes, Dad. I said, what? She goes, what's an orgasm? <laughs> I was like, an orgasm? <laughs> that is a great question for your mom. <laughs> And my wife didn't miss a beat. She was like, an orgasm? Hmm, okay, here we go. Remember last year we took vacation and we went to Kings Island and we rode that big roller coaster and it went click, 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 click. And you didn't think it was ever gonna get to the top and it got to the top and then the ride was over? That's an orgasm. <laughs> I like to go to really small neighborhood bars and get really drunk and almost on the verge of a yeah. fight and then make everybody laugh. That's basically what I do is I get drunk and talk and when people laugh I write it down and I go, hey, it's a bit. I hated Barney. <laughs> I love you, you love me. Well, dinosaurs are extinct now. Daddy just shot the last damn one of them. <laughs> the first time I heard Bernie, Barney was six o'clock on a Sunday morning. My daughter comes into my bedroom, turns on my TV and cranks up the volume. And this is what wakes me up. <laughs> hey, who's big and purple and your best friend? <laughs> Man, I'm laying in bed thinking, what the hell do I leave in the VCR? <laughs> you guys have been great. I've been Mark Eubanks.